Hello everyone, welcome to Kiwi Channel. This time we are in Vancouver. We are going to take a plane to Japan. We are walking on the bridge towards our plane. The plane is by Air Canada, operated by Rouge. And uh, you know that's a cheap airplane, which have no TV show, no nothing. Okay, we are on the gate, ready to get inside. Okay, the flight attendant just show us the gate. Okay, let's walk through. We just pa passing by the premium seat. Okay, this is our seat just beside behind the premium. And uh, because we want a base night here, that's uh, only the sport on the other side. I have two. And you can see, say hello. Hi, small guy. This is the map of our airplane. This is the Boeing 767-300ER. And uh, we are sitting at the yellow spot at A and C. A and C and another side, H and K. That's the only two spots that you will get a base net. From the A and C, the sun four rows that will show you the blue color. That's the preferred seat. Preferred seat, you will get a little bit uh, long, bigger leg room. So, but you need to also pay a little bit extra money for that. And uh, Air Canada Rouge offer direct flight from Vancouver to Osaka and back. And uh, only, I think, from April to middle of October. That means uh, the, October, the, the plane we're going to take back from Osaka to Vancouver. That's the last one offered from this year. Okay, let's check our leg space. Because prefer seat, you get a little bit bigger leg, leg space. I'm 175 centimeter tall. It's no problem for me. But uh, there's no table in front because the table had a you know armrest. Just make your armrest kind of the take off, take, and uh, you get two window on the side. There will be the raining in Vancouver at this time. Okay, let's check the window one. He seems really happy. It's so exciting for the take of airplane. He's not the first time taking airplane, but this is the first time taking this long rear plane about nine hours. And uh, he seems really happy. Hope he have a good trip. Later we can set up base night for you, and uh, he, he can have a good sleep. This is the three spots on the wall. That's for the base night. It will be screwed on for the base night and uh, to secure on the wall. And now plane is uh, running on the runway, and uh, we are getting ready to take off. Speed up. Hope we are have a safe takeoff. Okay, we are take off and uh, get ready to say goodbye to Vancouver. Okay, the flight attendants set up uh, the base night for us, and uh, the baby already get in. And uh, since the flight takeoff, the baby started sleeping. That's good news for us because uh, we this is our third plane and everybody tired. I will wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to get our first one to Vancouver. And uh, right now it's uh, about the lunchtime in Vancouver. Yeah. And uh, hope to have good sleep. He likes to sleep in the tummy. Baby about a 75 centimeter long. And uh, this uh, baseline will be short of us. And uh, we show you the plug. The plug is uh, under the seat. You can charge it for your device. And uh, the first meal arrive after two hours of takeoff. And they have the beef option, a uh, chicken option. The beef is kind of teriyaki beef with the rice. You get a side salad, a dessert, and the butter and the bread. The chicken option, you get a chicken the potato with the creamy sauce, and the rest will be the same. And you also get a drink, a bottle of a kind of water. Yeah. Let's uh, try to see the beef. It have some pickled ginger on it. Make it Japanese style because we fly to Osaka. But uh, this one tastes really awful. You can see the water with kind of root logo on. And uh, I feel the chicken one tastes much better. Now it they made the wake up. So it's really happy. And I uh, have some snack. You can see the base net. Most of them we used for the storage on extra stuff. Because anyway, the baby, we had a baby, and uh, you get a hot milk bottle, baby food. Actually, anyway, it's an uh, extra storage space for us. 
Baby seems to don't like sleep at the baseline of, at the bit first, so me and my wife had to take it in turn. We get the sleep, then we put the baseline. And also we get also turbulence, so they don't want to we put the baby in the baseline. So why we have to hold the baby all the time? Now it's the snack time. This is the giant cookie for our snack, and uh, this is uh, kind of lunch. You know, before about two hours before landing, we also get a bag of almonds and the chocolate bar. This is stuff uh, made mostly the bread with some vegetable and meat in filling. But uh, this kind of some sandwich definitely belong to the one bite. I didn't see the meat. The second bite over over the meat is cut. About a ten and a half hour fly, finally we are here in Can Osaka. Can you can see down there, that's the Kansai airport. Hopefully we have a safe landing later on. Okay, we have the safe landing and uh, hope everything okay. And the baby is okay, he's totally fine, a little bit nervous, a little bit need more of a sleep seems. Okay, this is the Kansai airport, and this is me. Okay, later on, just fast, the will very busy for the next uh, two weeks. Okay, now talk a little bit about uh, my experience of the flying with the Kansai Rouge, and with uh, travel with the baby. The first is about the food. Normally, you travel over eight hours you get a two hot meal and uh, some snacks yes this plane you get a two hot meal but the second one the hot meal is just uh, like a junk it's just a sandwich i hope you i hope you at least they get a, almost the similar same food like the first one but it didn't so just make sure you get a uh, lot of food before you boarding plane or else you will get so hungry but anyway you arrive to japan if you want to get out eat after you get off the plane it's so it's, it's your choice but uh make sure you can handle it the next uh, the most important thing is about the baseline the baseline uh, we had uh, some little bit have less issue on the way to osaka and get more problem when we come back and the way we went to Osaka, we used the base net, you know, issue. And uh, because, uh, but uh, fly Vancouver to Osaka, you get a lot of turbulence. And uh, you can't, they don't want you put a baby if they get it in the base net, if you get a turbulence. Or else the fly attendants will ask you to take a baby out. We did a couple hundred times because uh, we get a lot of turbulence and the baby is still sleeping. And uh, we had to take a baby out because it's just for the safety reason. They don't want to have a big turbulence and the baby is bounced up. And uh, on the way, we from Vancouver, er, from Osaka back to Vancouver, and uh, they see my baby can sit. So they don't want to offer, they even don't offer our base light. And uh, we asked the fans in attendance, and uh, they said, okay, I will bring in later. But they did not give us at all. And finally, we get uh, the attendance service manager. And they gave a reason, said, "Oh, your baby can sit. This uh, not a safety, because on the you can see only on they only had one restriction right on the base that is the weight limit, the twenty five pounds or twelve kg. My baby is under twenty. Baby is about twenty one pounds at that time, so it's it's okay based on this. But they showed us some paperwork. Show oh, but my wife read it. I did it." It's just uh, something blah blah blah. I don't know what they say, but it's just uh, not very clear. But uh, yeah, but uh, finally they make a compensate because uh, it's not a full plane. They offer our extra seat, so that's why we didn't use the base at all. But I think about it. if your baby can sit, so don't book waste your money book the baby bus line at all. So this is just my advice. Okay, thank you for watching my video and I uh, hope this uh, will help you guys uh, travel with Canada Rouge. And uh, just if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, I will see you next time.